ربي وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم افتح علينا حكمتك وانشر علينا رحمتك يا ذا الجلال والإكرام بلغ العلا بكماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسنت جميع خصاله صلوا عليه وآله مرحبا أهلا وسهلا بكم to the viewers and listeners of Madani channel. All praises due to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, our sustainer, our cherisher, the master of the day of judgment, the owner, initiator, and creator of everything. Abundance of peace and blessings and choices salutations be upon the prophet of Rahma, the intercessor of the ummah, the owner of Jannah, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, who is resting beneath the illuminous dome in Madinatul Munawwara. Peace and blessings be upon his beautiful family and his illustrious Sahaba, Ridwanullahi Ta'ala alayhim ajma'een, as well as upon the saints of this Ummah. Inshallah, Azzawajal, today as well, we will have a very beautiful program. Let us listen to the blessings of reciting the Rood and Salat ala Nabi, Sallallahu Ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. And trust me, this hadith is so uh, motivational, mashallah, alhamdulillah. The Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, had said in a hadith, Man salla alayya yawm al-jum'ati kanat lahu shafa'atan lahu indi yawm al-qiyamati. Subhanallah. The one who recites excessive and abundance of the root upon me on a Friday, I will intercede for him on the day of judgment. Subhanallah, subhanallah. How beautiful and amazing is this hadith. Let us make a firm intention that inshallah, Zawajal, we will increase our recitation of the root and salat ala nabi sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. وہ زبا جس کو سب کن کی کنجی کہے اس کی نافذ حکومت پہ لاکھو سلام پتلی پتلی گلے قدس کی پتیاں پتلی پتلی گلے قدس کی پتیاں ان لبوں کی نزاکت پہ لاکھو سلام مصطفیٰ جان رحمت پہ لاکھو سلام شمع بز میں ہدایت پہ لاکھو سلام صلو علی الحبیب صلی اللہ تعالی علی محمد صلی اللہ تعالی Alayhi wa sallam. Inshallah Zawajal, for today we shall be discussing the rights and the importance of taking care of one's neighbor. Yes, what are the rights and the importance of taking care of your neighbors uh, in terms of loving them, taking care of them, being humble and kind towards them. Ye bohut ahem mozu hai inshallah. Isse mis na kare. Balke inshallah, we will be mentioning uh, some madani pearls of Amir ahl sunnat inshallah azawajal, as well as of course the ahadith and ayat uh, which are mentioned in the Holy Quran and the ahadith of our beloved Nabi sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam in this relation. So please kindly stay tuned to Madani channel. So inshallah azawajal, hum uh, kalam sunenge inshallah aur kalam ke baad fauran apne program ke saath hazir honge. Kindly stay tuned to Madani channel. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Layla nabina salli ala nabina salli ala Muhammadin salli ala karimina salli ala karimina salli Oh 
الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم صلاة وسلاما عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وسلم عليك يا سيدي يا نبي الله we were listening to uh, a very beautiful kalam uh, brother ala hazrat uh, hazrat sayyiduna hasan raza khan rahmatullahi ta'ala ali ما شاء الله سبحان الله yes dear viewers and listeners of the channel ما شاء الله in studio today we have once again our respected and honorable nigrani kabina brother ashraf attari chishti sallamahu albari and let us give him a warm welcome assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh ma sha allah ashraf how are you doing today alhamdulillah ala kulli hal as our topic of discussion for today is basically the rights of your neighbors the importance of keeping them happy and so forth and so on so let us inshallah azawajal begin from a verse of the holy quran look the reason for us to choose this topic as well and igran sahib is that in this day and age uh, this is a very wide spread disease in our society that we violate the rights of our neighbors allah and the reason for that is simply because we do not understand the rights of neighbors allah when a person lacks that knowledge that ilm in relation to the rights of his neighbors then knowingly or unknowingly somewhere down the line he is violating the rights of his neighbors which is allah. to go against the quran allah because allah azza wa jalla has mentioned in the holy quran regarding the rights of neighbors and um, there can be various ways of rights inshallah so before we understand what are the rights of one's neighbors we need to understand who are the neighbors first allah huzur dad that you are mentioning it you know uh, if i had to look at when we were much younger i found that uh, alhamdulillah azza wa jalla our parents and even our grandparents were very close to the neighbors hmm. you know uh, there was a lot of muhabba and love and respect amongst that particular neighbor and uh, there was always this sharing and caring attitude you allah know? akbar but the reality in the month of ramadan the, or out of out ramadan, of the of ramadan alhamdulillah at this very very moment in time what we do find is that as we are getting older hmm. as our children are also growing up this particular bond is missing allah this bond of not only uh, missing between relatives but also amongst the neighbors some of us don't even know really who are the neighbors allah you know akbar. we hardly even would speak to them so much less a very beautiful topic and alhamdulillah azza wa jalla together we will learn a lot of people believe that mind your own business <laughs> that 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 is also true like you know for uh, let him run his own home and uh, let him not worry what's happening in my pot you know in, exactly, uh, in my, in my exactly. home exactly exactly this is what said so so but that is not what our deen teaches us today mashallah a very beautiful topic molana has chosen for the views of madrid channel alhamdulillah uh, and let's learn from it and see how we can rectify ourselves inshallah azza inshallah azza inshallah So alhamdulillah uh, you know Allah azza wa jalla has mentioned in the holy quran pak in relation to the rights of neighbors a beautiful verse subhanallah that also teaches us the rights of those who are poor those who are destitute those who are under the category of fuqara you know those who are needy and uh, destitutes how one should love them and look after them and then the rights of neighbors also come in the very same verse Allah azza wa jalla says in the holy quran pak subhanallah and worship Allah azza wa jalla and associate none with him and be good to the parents to the relatives to the orphans and to the needy and to the near neighbor and to the distant neighbor allah. allahu akbar so neighbors are so important that their zikr and their mentioning have been described in the holy quran allahu akbar furthermore and to the close companion and to the traveler allah and to your male and female slaves indeed allah does not like the arrogant and the boastful allah allahu akbar so in tafsir ahmadiyya in relation to this verse in the commentary of the holy quran pak it has been mentioned that the close neighbor means his house which is attached to your house it's very understandable nigran sahab you know your house is maybe opposite or attached it's in the close uh, vicinity or Jee. neighborhood and the distant neighbor which we also do understand is the one that's in your neighborhood but his house is not attached to your house right so this is understood from this but his house is not attached to your house or the one who is your neighbor as well as your relative allah he is your neighbor as well as your relative is a close neighbor wo padosi bhi hai or he lives in your neighborhood but he is also your relative so he is known or he is counted as a very close uh, neighbor of yours the one who is only your neighbor 
but not your relative is a distant neighbor or the one who is your neighbor as well as a Muslim. He is your neighbor as well as a Muslim. He is known to be a close neighbor. Allahu Akbar. Oh, and the one who is only a neighbor but not a Muslim, he is known to be a distant neighbor. So very beautifully, the, the scholars have described the distance and the close neighbors and relatives. So there is a better chance here that if this person is in your neighborhood, over and above he's a Muslim, and then he's your relative, then there are rights of each individual. Individually, there are certain rights. Because in one hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has mentioned that the Sahaba Ikram had said, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam consistently advised on neighbors Allah. to be treated well. To the extent that then we assumed that very soon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will make our neighbors our heirs. They will become part of the inheritors that Allah. they will inherit from our wealth. Allah. That's how much of emphasis and importance our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had put in uh, relation to respecting and caring for your neighbors that the Sahaba Ikram were assuming that very soon he وسلم, will make them their ears. Allah. So from this we understand how important are the neighbors. There was a time in the past when our parents, our great grandparents, you know, the muhabba and love that they had in those days uh, no. is something which is lacking in this day and age. Uzur, like you mentioned today, I recall the elders telling us that uh, today with our earnings, we might have one or two children. We can't make ends meet. Mm -hmm. Wallahu alam, I heard from many elders of ours that their fathers and their mothers, they used to take care of, they had big families, five, six brothers, seven children, ten children. Mm. And alhamdulillah, they used to take care of them, take care of maybe somebody of their brothers and sisters who have maybe passed away, take care of their children and take care of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Allah mm -hmm. Allah. Mashallah. So, look so, at, so look at, the, look at the, the thought and the, alhamdulillah, the barakah and the wisdom of our elders, alhamdulillah. As well. Taking care Subhanallah. of not only relatives, but also far relatives and also those that are around them, alhamdulillah. Allah Allah well. Allah Allah. So if we say that we are Sunni Ji. and we follow the sunnahs and the teachings of Rasul Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sahab, I think it's very important that, uh, you know, piety, taqwa, parizgari, that our deen wants us to have, you know, to yeah. adopt taqwa, uh, you know, fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we namazis, mashallah, we perform many hajj and umrah, that's related to our ibadat and our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in terms of following Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and doing as he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had done in his life, this is something which is, uh, you know, really found in today's day and age. It could be possible that, mashallah, you know, we have Urus Mubarak, we're celebrating big, big Miladun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but we're calling the far end people that live from different towns. Allah. But your own neighbor has not been invited to your program. Allah. And this is the reality. And this is what happens. Ji. Often Ji. this happens. They don't even know that you went for Hajj, you came back, you got gifts and presents for it. People that are living in different towns. Allah. But your own neighbor who is living with you or next to you for the past 15, 20 years, have you presented any gift and tohfa to him to say, well, I have come from Makkatul Mukarrama, Madinatul Munawar. Aap ke liye tohfa likha Allahu Akbar. Allah. So, being tolerant is very important. This is what the scholars have mentioned that from amongst the rights of the neighbors does not mean that if he's good and you are good, so both of you are just good, good with each other. No. If one is being not kind and just towards you in any way, any way, I just given some examples. Ji, Ji. The thing is that you need to be tolerant. Subhanallah. And if Subhanallah. he does, if you do any bad thing to him, then he should also have sabr and patience to say, well, he's my neighbor, I forgive him. Subhanallah. And Huzur, you mentioned this is that, from alhamdulillah, the right. a beautiful uh, parable hmm. about our Imam Abu Hanifa, our ah, yeah, great yeah, yeah, Imam, yeah, yeah, yeah. mashallah. Allah. It is mentioned by Sayyidina Abdullah bin Raja. That Imam Azam Abu Hanifa who has millions Subhanallah. and millions of followers globally. Hamari Sar ke Taj, Imam Azam Abu Hanifa. Subhanallah. ta'ala Ji, mashallah. So he says, Abdullah bin Raja, rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, he states, in Kufa, a cobbler used to be in the neighborhood or live in the neighborhood of our Imam, Imam Azam Abu Hanifa. Right. Rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi. That's his and first to a sweet seller or somebody who has a... Ji, a cobbler, shop, ji, yeah. ji. Uh, and then, alhamdulillah, he should take, after works, days of work, he should take food home and he should prepare it. Mm. So, Uzur, after preparing this food, he had this bad habit of drinking wine. Mm. 
And you do know when somebody's intoxicated, how they would possibly carry mm-hmm. on. And it is mentioned that this was happening right at the doorstep, at the neighborhood of Imam Abu Hanifa. Radiallahu ta'ala. Allahu Akbar. And it says that that noise used to continue till late in the night up until even the early hours of the morning. Mm-hmm. And the spiritual leader of millions of Hanafis, Sayyidina Imam Azam Abu Hanifa, rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, used to get very disturbed by this particular noise. Mm. But he used to remain occupied with Salah the whole night. Mm. Subhanallah. Mm-hmm. He was so used to this. Mm. But he never, like you said just now, he never uh, spoke back. That's he right. never hurt him. Mm. He made sabr mm. and he continued with his ibadah. So yeah, one night, Mashallah. he didn't hear the neighbor's voice. Mm. Allahu Akbar, our Imam. He didn't hear the neighbor's voice. So the next morning, he inquired, only to find out that the police have arrested him. Mm. 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 So after Fajr, our Imam Azam Abu Hanifa radiallahu ta'ala an, goes to the place where he has held captive. Okay, Wuzu? Hmm. So he mentions to the governors over there that I've been told that a particular person has been captured and brought here, Ji. a neighbor. Ji. Allow him to be free. So Ji. those governors, alhamdulillah, as well, knew the status of this hmm. great Imam and they followed the hmm. request. And they asked why he says that this was my neighbor, Allahu Akbar. Hmm. Further, he says, whoever hmm. was uh, captured that hmm. same day as the neighbor, hmm. please also free all of them. Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar. Free all Subhanallah. of them. Subhanallah. And mashallah, everybody knew the great sages of this Imam and they hmm. followed the request. So Imam Sahib, Alhamdulillah, Azzawajal, Imam Azam Abu Hanifa then rode away only to realize that this particular neighbor was now following him. Hmm. So he requested and he asked, Oh man, did I cause any trouble to you? The neighbor humbly replied, No. But rather you have helped me and made intercession on my behalf. May Allah Azza wa Jal bestow better reward for you for the act that you have done. Where Alhamdulillah you have showed me respect and you've given me adab. Ay, 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 and you fulfilled my rights. Mm. Allahu Akbar. Mm. Thereafter the person repented huzur and he said that he became so pious. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So what a Alhamdulillah a motivation for us. That such great personalities, although they were in difficulty, ay, ay, ay. they took care of the neighbor's Allah, rights. Subhanallah, Allah, Subhanallah. 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 Dear viewers and listeners of Madhani Channel, what a beautiful parable and incident we have just heard right now. The spiritual leader of millions of followers, Hanafi followers, the followers of Imam Azam Abu Hanifa, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala. What a beautiful and phenomenal example he had set for his followers. Huh? Subhanallah. Not only in the Maslak Nigran Sahib, Subhanallah. not only in terms of following him, fiqhi matters. No, follow his blessed life as well because he is following the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That one night he never heard any sound, he was worried. And if we don't hear our neighbors, we don't have to say, brother, let's go, thank you, today there's no problem. We won't go and Allah. check whether what's his problem. Ji. There is a difference, I mean, day and age and time, but let us inculcate and instill the values and the importance of following the footsteps of our pious predecessors. There is so much of blessings in it. I mean, uh, Rasulullah sallallahu has men- it has been mentioned in a, in a narration that a person came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and uh, he mentioned, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, I'm living in the neighborhood of such and such tribe. Allah. But I'm, uh, you know, the, the problems that's caused to me is by my closest neighbor. I live in a tri- I live in a vicinity or in a tribe of certain people, but my neighbor that lives the closest to me troubles me the most. Oh, the cleave that time, oh, zada, parishan karta. Allah. So Rasulullah sallam then said, O oh, Ali, radiyallahu an, Abu Bakr Siddiq, radiyallahu an, Uthman Ghani, radiyallahu taala. He told all three, four of them to go to the masjid, stand at the entrance of the masjid. And make this announcement loudly. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar. He told the four Khulafai Rashidin to go at the entrance of the masjid and make this announcement loudly. What is the announcement? Allah. Dear viewers and the Samadini channel. He says, Sunni is Ghor says, Sunni. Allahu Akbar. Announcement ye karna tha ki undoubtedly 40 houses are included in the neighborhood. 40 houses. Allah. Chalis ghar. 40 houses are included in the neighborhood and if someone's neighbor is terrified due to his evil, he will not enter Jannah. Allah, 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 Allah
are included in the neighborhood. So when we describe the near neighbors and the far end neighbors or who are in your neighborhood, so 40 houses from the right, 40 houses from the left, 40 houses from the front, 40 houses from behind. This is how some other narrations explain this 40 houses. Allahu Akbar. So dear viewers and listeners of any channel, are we making sure that our 40 neighbors, I mean, as I mentioned, uh, or as you are mentioning these beautiful parables, which are definitely an eye-opener, that if Imam Azam Abu Hanifa can lead and set such a beautiful Subhanallah. example for us, why can't we also become tolerant? Why can't we also become like our Imam? Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allah. I'll give you another example. Hazrat Sayyidina Malik bin Dinar, Jee. Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali. This person needs no introduction, mashallah. Great wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His house was opposite another person's house. At that time, he was a non-Muslim. And uh, with his evil and with his things that he used to do. So it has been mentioned that his filth and dirt from his house, he used to deliberately let the filth of his house go through the drainage system to you. into Allah. the house of Sayyidina Malik bin Dinar rahmatullahi Jee. ta'ala. Rozana ka ye mamul ta iska. Allah. He would do that. Every single day, Allahu Akbar. So, Sayyidina Malik bin Dina rahmatullahi ta'ala li, that used to receive this uh, dirt that used to pass through the passage or through the pipeline and reach his house. Sayyidina Malik bin Dina rahmatullahi ta'ala li, used to clean that filth and he used to get rid of it in that way. Allah. So once Sayyidina Malik bin Dina rahmatullahi ta'ala li, fell very sick. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Or some narrations mentioned that this person, when he realized that for so many years I'm doing this, but there's no reaction from this Imam, from Allah this great leader. Allah. So when they approached each another, they just met into each another. Mm -hmm. So he asked Sayyidina Malik bin Dinara that tell me something honestly, you're my neighbor. Don't you get annoyed well, by do. the dirt which I sent to your home? Ji. By the filth that's coming through my drainage into your yard or into your home? He says, well, why must I get angry with you? Allah. How can I get angry with you when my Islam teaches me, when my religion teaches me, when my Rabb has commanded me in the Holy Quran by saying, Subhanallah. And who restrain anger and who pardon men. Hi, hi, hi. Are the virtuous people and dear to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When my Rabb tells me this in the Holy Quran, those who restrain and pardon men. Allah so Allah. I restrain my anger when you do so. Allah and I simply I sweep you. out the dirt. Allah. And I pardon you for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have Subhanallah. given you listening to this madani pool and this akhlaq and characteristic of Sayyidina Malik bin Dina rahmatullahi ali. That non-Muslim neighbor said instantly, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If this is the servants of Rasulullah, then what is the position of Muhammad himself, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? How great is the Nabi himself, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when his followers are so good in the deen, subhanallah. So, hume bhi ye chance, ye moqa mila hoga, shayad humne khoya hoga. Perhaps we have lost this opportunity of showing kindness and generosity and humbleness with our neighbors if ever we were in such a situation. But as I speak, Nigran Sahib, there are families or there are neighbors that are not in talking terms at the moment Allah for Allah. several years. Allah. And those who restrain and pardon men are the beloveds of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are dear to Almighty Allah azawajal. So one way is that follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this is the beauty of Islam. It has guided its followers in all aspects in terms of ibadat, how to worship Allah azza wa jal, in terms of how to be as a good husband, in terms of how to be a good son, father, child, whatever the case is, whatever your position is. And if you are in the position of being a neighbor of someone, Islam has guided you for that as well. How to be a kind neighbor, how to be a good neighbor. Alhamdulillah, even if he is being... Uh, bad and treating you very badly, you know, uh, without being, um, without showing justice towards you. You are being kind towards him, but in return, instead of doing the same to you, he is not being kind towards you. So it does not mean tit for tat, Nigran Sahib. I don't believe in that. Uh, rather, Islam has taught us, in, in the other day we had read that verse that treat your enemies with kindness, perhaps you could change your enemies into friends as well. Subhanallah. This is Subhanallah. how it happens. Subhanallah. But the problem is that in our society, everyone wants to prove himself right. Allah. Main sahi hu, baaki sab galat hai. Main sahi hu, hami sahi hai. 
baki jitne bhi log hai all those in my vicinity in my neighborhood they all are wrong and if this is our attitude then trust me we could actually risk our ibadat our taqwa our faith because when a person fears allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he fears allah azza wa jal in regards to or in terms of all aspects subhanallah even when it comes to this that the rights of my neighbor then he fears that i will be questioned about this on the day of judgment however i tell because rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam had said in a hadith that when a person will be put into jahannam he will instantly hold the garment the garment the far end uh, of a neighbor ji he will hold that person's garment meaning the far end of his garment on the day of judgment say ya allah if i am going there in jahannam he's coming with he's coming with the summary of the hadith ji why simply because ya allah azza wa jalla he lived there with me for several years but he never guided me allah akbar he never ever showed me the true and the righteous path allah it was all about mind your own business you know don't poke your nose everywhere it's not about poking your nose it's about taking islam even through your character nigran sir subhanallah subhanallah if you are afraid of approaching him directly your akhlaq and your manners could prove prove what is your religion and how others should also love your religion subhanallah because by looking at your style and this is exactly what khaja gharib nawaz had done allah ha we are chisti followers mashallah we are qadri followers this is what our ghosi azam had also done subhanallah, subhanallah. aside from his karamat jo beshumar hai beshumar you know you cannot count the karamat of these gigantic personalities but Just, if you go and you flip through the history and see how they treated their neighbors nigran sahab allah allahu akbar really this, amazing this you mentioned ji, ji. alhamdulillah about our khaja gharib nawaz ji rahmatullah taala alay it is mentioned that he took so great care of his neighbors ji subhanallah that he rahmatullah taala alay would look after them if a neighbor would pass away Mm. he would definitely go with his funeral alhamdulillah mm. when mm. people would leave after burying him ne mm. our khwaja sahab alhamdulillah would sit alone near the grave and would alhamdulillah make dua of forgiveness Allah to the neighbor Allah subhanallah Allah. and his father mentioned he rahmatullah taala alay also would advise his family members to remain patient and would console them subhanallah mashallah subhanallah. mashallah kya baat hai madine ki nigran sahab This is our Khaja Gharib Nawaz. Hi, 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 hi. Khaja hai Hind, wo darbar hai ala tera. Khaja hai Hind, wo darbar hai ala tera. Kabi maharu. sallu ala alhabib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam chale inshallah as far as the rights of people are concerned aam taur se logo ke jo huquq hote hain is hawale se hum koi madne guldasta dekhte hain inshallah a very beautiful video clip please watch it and we shall return with our program sallu ala alhabib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam sayyidun ibrahim bin adham rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi The great wali Allah, he found an apple, and this was floating in a stream in an orchard. So he found this apple, he picked it up and he ate it. As soon as he ate it, he felt extreme regret for what he had done. That is, why he had eaten it without the permission of the owner. Therefore, he proceeded towards the orchard in search of the owner. a lady was the owner of that orchard he apologized for this act and the lady said the king and i both are stakeholders in this orchard i accept your apology regarding my right but i do not have the authority to forgive you on behalf of the king the king was in balgh so ibrahim bin adham rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi set out for balg and ultimately succeeded in seeking consent from that king dear islamic brothers dear viewers and listeners of madani channel there are many morals in the above mentioned parable for those who usurp the possessions of others who pocket goods from the shops without payment example fruits vegetables etc what will they do 
if they will be charged for such acts on the Day of Judgment. Therefore, Allama Abdul Wahhab Sha'arani Quddisa Sirruhun Nurani has stated in Tanbihul Mughtareen The famous Tabi'i saint Sheikh Sayyiduna Wahhab bin Munabbih Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali has mentioned an Israeli repented from all his previous sins. Then he worshipped for 70 years constantly in such a way that he would observe fast during the day and would keep in vigil in the night for ibadat and worships. He would not eat delicious food, nor would he take rest under any shade upon his death. A person saw him in the dream and asked him, Ma fa'alallahu bika? How did Allah Azza wa treat you? He replied, Allah Azza wa held me accountable for my deeds. Allah Azza wa forgave all my sins, but due to a piece of wood, a toothpick, that I had used to pick my teeth without the permission of the owner, I could not ask him for forgiveness. My mistake, therefore, I have been prevented from Jannah, from Paradise because of this violation of human rights. Dear Islamic brothers, dear viewers and listeners of Madani channel, please think, please ponder over a small piece of wood. This prevented that Israeli from entering Jannah. Picking the teeth with a worthless piece of wood seems so insignificant compared to people who now would swindle millions or billions out of others. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam salatu wa salamu alayka ya sayyidi ya rasulullah wa sallamu alayka ya sayyidi ya nabi Allah. MashaAllah, ye toh humare Mawlana Hafiz Noshah sahib te MashaAllah, who was giving us some beautiful madani pearls and examples of our pious predecessors. Beautiful, outstanding, MashaAllah. How truthful and how honest and how fair were our pious predecessors when it came to the rights of others subhanallah Subhan even for something that is so intricate a piece of wood allah nigran sahab something to ponder and contemplate over you know look into ourselves right now and we say that we are followers of rasulullah sallallahu but our behavior with our neighbors proves that we don't even fulfill the Commandments of Allah Azzawajal and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam If this is the case, you know Illa MashaAllah yeah. Not everybody falls under this category But majority of people globally have this issue Whereas if they're living in one building So the one upstairs, he always got a problem with him The one who's downstairs, he got a problem Allah with him Allah. He's got a one, he got a problem with the one that's right above the building yeah. And if he's right on the top, then he's got a problem with everyone right to the bottom yeah. Yeah. Often this happens Often this happens we don't want to take responsibility of cleaning. We don't want to take responsibility of, of that noise in the area. We, we shout their children. If somebody is living in the bottom flat and the upper children are running and playing, so we don't want to phone I cannot sleep at night. Your son is running around. He's a child. But you are don't make this type of noise because those at the bottom cannot sleep in peace. They can but they can't listen to it. They can't listen to it. They can't listen to Sometimes we need to understand that they are children. Let them grow up a little bit. But some people are so delicate when it comes to this matter, Nigran Sahib, that Allah. even if four or five doors away, somebody is shouting their phone and say, please stop making noise. <laughs> because they cannot take noise. So this is something to be concerned about. Look at Another beautiful example uh, in the books of history mentioned about Hazrat Sayyidina Sahal Tustari Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali. A very pious personality, mashallah. It has been mentioned that his neighbor uh, from his toilet pipe, the filth used to come into the yard of Sayyidina Sahal Tustari Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali. This filth and dirt used to be coming into this yard. And when he was very sick once, he yeah. felt very ill and sick and he thought and assumed that this could be my final moment. So he called his neighbor and said, look, Allah. over these years, I had been very tolerant. I'm not sure whether my inheritors after my death will be so tolerant as me. Allah. Meaning they will tolerate your dirt coming from your pipe into my house. I had been cleaning it over the years. I never even told you that your pipe was leaking or dripping. Or it was because of your pipe, my house is... You know, the filth is coming in my home. Yeah. I had been tolerant for the sake of my Rabb, my Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For His pleasure, nothing else. I never ever told you anything. 
I was tolerant. But I'm not sure about my inheritors. Allah. After my demise, they might be like me or might not be like me. So therefore, I'm just alerting you before they tell you anything. I am telling you Allah. that your pipe has been given this problem, whereas it's leaking, but the fault then comes to my house. <laughs> Saying this, this non-Muslim neighbor was so overwhelmed and moved by the Allah. character of Sayyidina Sahal Tustari, Rahmatullahi, that he said that so many years you were tolerant with me, Allah. and now what are you waiting for? Extend your hand, I want to hold your hand and recite the kalima, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah Sallam. SubhanAllah. Allah will assure by, he gave his hands into the hands of Sayyidina Sahal Tustari Rahmatullah Ali, right there and then, and he embraced Islam. SubhanAllah. So, Subhanallah. is this not a way of spreading Islam? Allah. Via Allah. your character. Islam had never ever spread by the power of sword. Islam had never ever spread by the power of terror and violence. Islam had spread only through the beautiful character of my Aqa, our beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our beloved Master Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is what the Sahaba Ikram, Tabi'een, Tabi'i Tabi'een, Aymai Mushtahideen, Khulafai Rashidin, Awliyai Kamilin, Saliqeen, the pious saints of this Ummah have done the very same thing. MashaAllah, Nigran Sahib, we have just like a minute before we end, inshallah. Any Madani pull from your side? SubhanAllah, Huzur, some beautiful sayings and talking about the rights of the neighbors, Imam Muhammad Ghazali, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi. Hmm. He says, one should lead in saying salam to his neighbors. Hmm should not ask too many questions about his circumstances, hmm. should console them when they are in difficulty, Allahu Akbar, hmm. should congratulate them in a joyous moment, hmm. should participate in their joy, hmm. joyful occasions, should forgive their mistakes, and Alhamdulillah, should not narrow the pathway to their homes, even if there's a building that they are putting up, should also take the permission and not make it difficult for the neighbors, SubhanAllah. It is further mentioned, should immediately help them if they meet an accident. Mm. If he becomes aware of their faults, he should hide them. Aye, aye, aye. Should not show negligence in safeguarding the house of neighbors in their absence. Subhanallah. Mm, mm, mm. Subhanallah. Mashallah. Should not listen to anything against them. Should lower his gaze before their woman. Mm. Should speak softly to their children. Subhanallah. Value. If they need guidance in worldly or religious matters, he should guide them accordingly. MashaAllah, subhanallah. MashaAllah, subhanallah. subhanallah. Some amazing Madani pearls. Subhanallah. So, so Zul, Alhamdulillah, Azzawajal, just to conclude that it's a Yomul Jummah day. We don't know whether they will be alive for the next Jummah. Extend your hand of forgiveness to that neighbor who you possibly hurt. Hmm. Extend your hand for forgiveness to the relatives. Make Maaf be the first one to go forward. Rabb Tabarak wa Ta'ala will increase you subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kya baat hai, mashallah. Jazakallah, Nigran Sahib, firstly for coming here today in studio Sahib. and sharing your Madani pearls with us. We really, really appreciate it. Of course, uh, the Madani pearls, Ashraf that we have discussed right now is from the books of our hadith, Quranic ayat, stories of our pious predecessors. And they are very much motivational for us. Alhamdulillah, we say shukran to you, Ashraf Bhai, for coming here in studio and giving us so much of time, inshallah, we hope that you bless us uh, again in the near future, inshallah. 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 Dear inshallah. viewers and this Madani channel, we have come to the end of our program. And yes, we are hopeful that uh, today's program may have made a difference in our lives and have taught us the excellence and the importance of respecting, loving and being caring towards our neighbors, inshallah. If we were not yet, then we will be done with it. Allah's will be done with it, inshallah. Make sincere tawbah and become a helpful neighbor. Become a sincere neighbor. Become a good neighbor, just as Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi wants you to be. And ho sakta, your akhlaq or via your characteristics, others could be attracted. And this is one way of preaching Islam, inshallah. Zawajal. We shall be back with another program. You stay good, be good, do good. And remember, wherever you are, the missionary statement of Dawat Islami is, I must strive to reform myself and, and the, the people, people of the entire of the world. world. Inshallah, Azzawajal. Sallu ala al-Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Allah, Allah, start your day with remembrance of Allah. Start your day with remembrance of Allah.